To my husband, I can't believe the day is here. Eight years, but already a lifetime of memories together. I consider myself the luckiest girl in the world to be marrying the man of my dreams today. I look around where we are and I think of just how far we've come as individuals and as one in our journey of life together so far. The life we live is one we could only have dreamt about not so long ago. I hope we've made those two young kids of our past proud. Like a lot of couples, we have been through many ups and many downs, but through the tests of life, our love has never once wavered. Waking up to the beautiful family we have created together every day, I feel loved, I feel whole, I feel at home, and I have you to thank for that. Thank you for always putting me and our boys first through everything. You are my Prince Charming and I will love you forever. To my beautiful bride, the love of my life. If there was a book written about my life, then you would be the main character in all the best chapters. I love you as my best friend. From our first date together, I was able to be completely myself, completely comfortable and completely effortless. From the first minute until now, I love you as my partner and there's something so special about growing old with your person. We're building a life together, we're chasing dreams together, that's the real stuff to me. And knowing that I have you by my side till death do us part makes me the happiest man in the world. And lastly, I love you as a mother to my children. You are a truly incredible mother and I want you to really know that. As a dad, knowing that my children have the best mum in the world is the best thing I could ever wish for. And as I look at you tonight, I don't feel that my time on earth is enough time to really love you. You are mine, and I am forever yours. ever think about it how people fall in love it's not the way that they look that's for movies and books it's a feeling that creeps inside it ain't the fancy kind it just builds over time and holds the spirit together when it tears it's what I got inside It's what I live and I'll try To give you all of my life Honey, I love you like the real thing With your wrinkles and your scars You don't have to hide Tell me something about your heart In the places on your back like You say you need surgery A kiss and say it's beautiful Until you start to Have you ever stopped to notice How two hearts become one They can see what they feel Hear what they need It's something that just can't be explained It ain't the fancy kind It just builds over time and Holds the spirit together when it takes what I've got inside It's what I'll live and I'll try To give you all of my life I love you like the real thing Where your wrinkles and your scars You don't have to hide them you Tell me something about you 
Today's going to be fabulous, it's be a wonderful day, the weather's amazing, the venue's fabulous darling. The food tonight has been delicious and it'll be a wonderful day, we're looking forward to it very much. Okay, we're gonna, and I know that your mum would love to be here too. Is it on? <laughs> it is on. Um, Ellie, I am so proud of you to call you my sister, I want to be so proud of you too. Um, I love you so much and I can't wait for you to be my brother in law. We're absolutely amazing together and I love you both. You have the most amazing special son mum could ever ask for as the grandson and I love you so much. <laughs> Actually, I love too much. <laughs> I love you too much. <laughs> Hello, my name is Shay. I've got the privilege of being Connor's best man with Ellie and the, the best wedding ever. I, I couldn't think of anyone else in the world that I'd want my best mate to marry, apart from Ellie. She's inspirational, I swore again, amazing, and the best person I've be any, oh, I fucked it. I don't say how happy I am for you and Ellie. Ellie and Connor, they're the most powerful couple I've ever met in my life. No matter what life throws at them, they will power through, no matter what. I've had a lovely evening tonight, uh, looking forward to the wedding tomorrow. Uh, Connor looks handsome and his beautiful bride, Ellie, tomorrow. <laughs> hey, I was in Con, can't believe the day is tomorrow. I feel an absolute honour to be your maid of honour, I'm a little bit scared about bloody walking down that aisle. Can't wait for it, tomorrow is going to be the best day ever and I can't wait to see you in your dress. I just love you. <laughs> Over to the other bridesmaid and honorary bridesmaid. Congratulate, well they're not married yet, but congratulations for tomorrow, we can't wait to watch your day together. And get drunk! Get drunk and have tequila. I just want to say thank you for making me part of your special day. I can't wait to celebrate tomorrow and celebrate love. Yeah, and you too. Yeah, go love. Go love. Oh, lovely. And wish you a lifetime of happiness. <laughs> and loads of babies, loads of babies, loads, loads of love. babies. So Ellie, I just want to thank you so much for uh, inviting me and uh, my amazing friends to be part of this day. Um, can't wait to see you all down the aisle and share your special day with you. 
Um, really grateful for our years of friendship and here's to many more to come. Congrats to you and Bob. Now to Lucy. Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is Connor and Els for inviting me to your wedding in Ibiza. If it wasn't for me, you might not have ever met each other. So we'll call that however. Thanks for proving in Shay's bedroom, me, Shay and Connor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Take the, don't take my body, take the, or you put both the rings in that blue bag. 
So you, that's what I mean for you to stand out. I did this one Like, for, for <laughs> <laughs> I can't even keep still. Okay, there you go. Okay, small doses once a year. Two glasses, each other. Really got it all inside. Hello. 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 Looking very nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You should have done it. Yeah. 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 You do it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, mate, yeah, I quite like the small Oh, 
reported to me some of you already, but for those I haven't, I want to give you a really warm embrace to this special place. I'm going to come around and give everyone a big bear hug later on. You want it now? than you think but the most important thing is even if we're apart I'll always be with you yes. <laughs> I vow to learn and grow with you. I vow to learn and grow with you. To explore and adventure with you. To explore and adventure with you. To respect you in everything as an equal partner. To respect you in everything as an equal partner. To show up as the best version of myself for our family. To show up as the best version of myself for our family. To have and hold from this day forward. To have and hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. For better, for worse, for richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until death do us part. To love and to cherish until death do us part. Wonderful. Now, Connor, if you will repeat the same after me, please. I, Connor, take you out to be my wife. I, Connor, take you out to be my wife. I vow to learn and grow with you. I vow to learn and grow with you. To explore and adventure with you. To explore and to adventure with you. To respect you in everything as an equal partner. To respect you in everything as an equal partner. Have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold for this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. For better or worse, for richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until death do us part. To love and to cherish till death do us part. Amazing. So this next part contains three pledges. And after each pledge, you answer together saying, we do. 
So here's the first pledge. Do you pledge to preserve and enrich your affection for each other and see each other's potential and inner beauty? We do. <laughs> and do you pledge to help each other develop your hearts and minds, cultivating compassion, generosity, patience, and wisdom as you age and undergo the various ups and downs of life and to transform them into a path of love, compassion, and joy? We do. <laughs> and recognizing that the external conditions in life will not always be smooth and that internally your own minds and emotions will sometimes get stuck in negativity. Do you pledge to see all of these circumstances as a challenge to help you grow, to accept yourselves and each other? We do. They do. Connor, you know what to do, my man. You may now kiss your bride. Come on. And they will get yeah. too hot in the sun. Kirby, Kirby so. and Hector do give their love, Freddie yeah. and Paul. Uh, we love you guys. Yeah, we love you. Yeah, we in love in you. fact, we love Herbie and Hector more. And, 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 you, and you, and you, we love you. So Ellie's one of five, and I have five. I'm blessed with five beautiful daughters, all wonderful, in their own right. 
Ellie, um, for a minute she was born, was bright, beautiful, intelligent, funny, witty, and she had a, an extra special friend called Basil. So whenever somebody crayoned on the wall, or wet the bed, or dropped something on the carpet, it was, Dad, it was Basil. Basil did that. Nominated in, when she was probably about four, um, and Ellie would get up first, she'd run down. We had dogs, two dogs, Monty and Winston, two beautiful Labradors. Ellie and Katie loved them, absolutely beautiful dogs. And Ellie, they'd go down, get up at, in the mornings, go down and see them. And one morning in particular, one of them had messed all out by the kitchen door. And Ellie said, Dad, it was Basil. Basil, don't tell the dogs off, it was Basil, tell Basil off. So Ellie had a vivid imagination from, from the very start of her life and you've all seen that as she's grown into the beautiful and staggeringly successful young lady that she is she's wonderful so that young lady she's she's supremely confident what she's achieved with connor's support connor is an integral part of what happens he's been he's been fabulous support to my daughter wonderful support the world of him and um, I just want to say that um, I, I spent three years paying no attention and she phoned me up one day and said dad um, I'm gonna launch this clothing range in London it's gonna be wonderful and you need to come and pay attention to what I'm doing and we said okay well never all right if that's what you want to do I'll come along I knew nothing about it and we arrived at the Connaught rooms in Pall Mall in central London we got a taxi there and we arrived and I'm telling you there was 500 people lined up in the street waiting to meet this young lady and I'm like oh my god I can't believe it and I got out of the car and Lisa and, and Katie I think and Lucy I think you were there you went up up, up, up into the the, um, the, the, the the function and I was so embarrassed I went to the back of the queue like what, what are you doing I'm like I'm just like, I'm not going to push in front of everybody. But it was incredible. The whole thing was amazing. That set her off on her career. And that brings me to the culmination of what I want to say tonight, okay? And I am unbelievably proud of the both of them for the way that they have dealt with it. Stronger and better than ever. And I am incredibly proud of you both. And I just want to wish you... just want to uh, wish you absolutely everything you wish for everything you want in the world i hope it all comes true they will say to me my daughters always say to me dad at christmas what do you want and i said i i, I want i don't want anything i want all i want is you to be happy that's all i want right and as a father all you want for your children paul see right all you want for your children is you want them just to be happy and to do wonderful things and i you know what these two are fantastic and I wish them all the best so good <clears throat> so I've got a huge speech here but I've got a bit emotional tonight I'm going to speak from the heart and I'm just gonna run with it that's right if that's right with everyone else if that's right with everyone else uh, so I'm a bit emotional, so I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I just want to take a moment for Ellie's mum, uh, Deborah. We know you're here with us tonight, surrounding us with your love, not only to celebrate our magical moment, also because we are in the place of Ibiza, and Deborah loved this place. You're in our thoughts tonight. But more importantly, you're in our hearts always, and I can't wait to tell, I can't, I can't wait, wait to tell Saint all about you. So with that in mind, can we all stand, please? Yeah. Raise our glasses and join me in a toast while we listen to a very special song for Deborah. For Deborah. <laughs> Oh! 
so much more I could say, but I'm so emotional right now. I want to start with saying that you literally look incredible. Yes. 10 out of 10. The most beautiful person on the island. The dress is out of this world and you are honestly stunning. And I am one lucky man to be able to call you my wife. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You came into my life at a point where... Hang on. You get emotional now. <laughs> From a boy who was stumbling through life, not really know where he was heading. I need you more than you think. And I am so goddamn thank you. Every morning I wake up next to you. Final applause and a cheers to the new wife, Eleanor Swift. Now let's go dance the night away and let's have a good night. Hey. Come on, give up a colour, everyone. Let's hear it. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Connor, that was a beautiful speech. I was hoping, I was hoping yours would be a bit. So it make my little bit like better, but like, it, there we go. <laughs> Love to bear with me though, people. I have never done anything like this since I was like in year two. Read out like <laughs> Biff and Chip books when I was younger. <laughs> cheers for the, cheers for that, Connor. <laughs> Thanks for the beige suit as well by Connor. You knew I'm myself, so if, if I do myself, everyone's gonna know, aren't they? I want to quickly say how amazing, stunning Ellie looks tonight. <laughs> Come on. Connor. Yeah, you, you look a million dollars as well. The bridesmaids, bridesmaids, all of you look absolutely stunning. You look so beautiful. <laughs> you look amazing as well, Giles. You look amazing as well. <laughs> Even some of your uglier ones look alright as well. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. For those who don't know me, I am. Um, my name's Shay. I've I've had the privilege of being Connor's best man. We've been best mates for literally years. He's been the he's literally been a brother to me. Honestly, there's no one. There's no girl out of all the billions of girls in the world. There was no one I'd want my best mate ever to marry, marry than Ellie. Aww. She's yeah. She's gorgeous, she's inspiring, and she's literally the nicest woman I've ever met in my life. Aww. There's no one, that, she's amazing to Connor, she's amazing to the dogs. <laughs> I, am, I am free speech in this, by the way. Yeah. I can't even read this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this. <laughs> she's a f***ing class. She's a f***ing class. She's the best. <laughs> She's the best, she's, a, she's amazing to Connor, she's amazing to the kids, like, no, like the dogs. <laughs> and she's the best mum ever to say in the world. It's, fu it's amazing, I love you to pieces, honestly. So I want everyone to stand up now and charge our glasses for the, my best mate ever. And the new Connor and Ellie Swift. I let you free speech chat. Cheers, <laughs> I, Ellie, I love you. Connor, I love you too. You're fucking amazing. Would it be
Mrs. Swift, everybody. a question to ask you. Will you have this dance with me? And it's a very special song that reminds me of our time in America, but I wonder if you can tell me why when you hear it. <laughs> So true. 